You are tuning in to Living Mentally Well with Kevin Hines. Follow us as we interview some of the greatest, most influential minds and public figures in the fields of suicide prevention, entertainment, activism, mental and behavioral health. We welcome you to listen, learn, watch, and enjoy. All of this is brought to you by 17th and Montgomery Productions. My vision after finding the ability to live mentally well most days. Living Mentally Well with Kevin Hines and Paul Surgener from Ireland. Paul, uh, I want to ask you a couple of questions uh, about your work in the field. What, what is uh, one of the things you're doing in the field of suicide prevention right now that you deem very important uh, and, and how are you affecting the, the suicide prevention field? Mm. Well, um, Kevin, I think the main thing that we do is we provide an intervention service. So if people are, are self-harming, of people who are suicidal, they can come to us. We work with them and the main thing we really do is try to instill hope because there is a way to get through this. It isn't just the darkness. There's a way to move from the darkness to the light and that's what we're all about. Oh, it's fantastic. I really appreciate that work because I too was suicidal and now I'm doing well and I have found hope and just like what you're doing for all those people uh, in the field. It's wonderful. Uh, Paul, uh, I want to know uh, what, uh, what, what you're doing uh, every day. What's one thing you're doing every day for your personal mental health and well-being? I think one thing I do is try to reflect on the positives each day. It's so easy to get bogged down with what's not right, what you don't have, what's missing, and instead just think about, well, what do I have? What's good? What, you know, what makes my life good? And focus on the positives rather than the negatives. If okay. you could tell me, uh, or share with us, uh, a website where we can find some of the work you're doing. Yeah, it's uh, Pieta House, where this organization. So it's www.pieta.ie. And that gives a little bit about our organization and some of the links to some of the partners that we work with. Fantastic. I, I want to ask you a, probably a tough question, but important one. Where do you want to see the suicide prevention field in the next three to five years? I think what I would like to see is, I would like to see people in the suicide prevention area working together better. Because I think so many groups are doing amazing work in their own areas. And I think if we really want to make a difference here, we have to link up and do it together. Because it doesn't matter if you're doing something really well by yourself, unless you're coming together and working as part of the bigger picture, we're never going to solve suicide as a bigger problem. No organization, foundation, or company is an island, even though there may be many of them. We're all in this together, and I think that in suicide prevention, all too often, even around the globe, we end up with uh, uh, groups that compete uh, for funding for all kinds of issues. It's time that we come together, realize our power as a group, and fight for this prevention on a global scale, uh, united. Yeah. Thank you very much, Paul. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. All right. Well with Kevin Hines, brought to you by 17th and Montgomery Productions. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe below and let us know the thoughts you have in the comment section. Everyone has a story. We want to hear yours because you matter.